calling for a new ethic. Developed nations have a duty not only to share our wealth, but also to encourage sources that produce wealth. Yes! Why do people go out there and try to uh, protest or try to, you know, do something? That isn't mindless violence. I mean, the mindlessness is sitting there uh, doing dope watching MTV, and then you go and get a job and you just schlep along. And that's, to me, that's violent. <laughs> Targeted property damage or property destruction is necessary. It's it's just it does break out of the confines of the politics of politics as usual. What do you achieve by holding a sign? Doing the protest as usual stuff, I've seen decades of it. It doesn't do anything. People pay no attention. Why should they pay any attention? It's not worthy of attention. But when people fight, that is something. It does grab the attention, and it should, because it's real stuff. It isn't just this symbolic game of, oh, it makes me feel good, I have my sign and stuff. Well, I don't care about that. If it was, if it was valid, if it was not ineffective, much better. I would much rather have a nice, polite, peaceful, nobody is put in danger, nobody gets hurt, no one gets arrested, nobody gets hit on the head by a cop, and not even a window is broken. Ideal. Except it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Property damage, property calling for a new ethic. Corporate property is the most obvious legitimate target in my view. Banks, expensive stores, uh, chains like Starbucks and so forth. People understand that as part of the global system, part of this uh, part of this encroaching, standardized, destructive, a form that is wiping out uh, all differences, uh, all freedom. Property damage, property damage, property destruction, property destruction, property damage, property damage, property destruction, property destruction, property damage, property damage, property destruction, property destruction, property damage, property damage, property destruction. People for two million years didn't destroy the natural world. They didn't have war. And they had leisure time, I mean, so forth and so on. That's what primitivism refers to in, in one way. And to me, that's very inspiring.
back in this new world, the people will get uh, back their own culture again. In this new world, we will have a new set of values. There will be a big paradigm shift, a big global mind shift, where people will suddenly say, I don't want a fancy car. Where people will suddenly say, I, I don't want another Big Mac. Where people will suddenly say, I don't want to wear uh, any diesel jeans. Where people will suddenly say, I want to have a simple, fulfilling life. Where people will suddenly say, I want to have a simple, fulfilling life. 